Hey everybody, welcome to the weekend. It's Thursday, one more day till Friday. Hang in there, folks. Counting down. And welcome to another episode of A Blind Guy, His Wife, Dare Life Live. On this channel, we explore entertainment, career choices, and we also explore health and wellness as we introduce you to lots of people in our personal and professional network that have turned their passions into profits by being entrepreneurs and being just great, extraordinary people in their community. Today is no exception to the rule. Today is very fun, guys. I'm going to jump right in and let you guys know that we air every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, ha ha, at 11.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I see. I was trying to get it in. That's why you know what? And I got my coffee sitting before I said it. So, hey, hey. I know. That's why I keep trying to over talk people and talking too much. Guys, you know how we do it here. We engage with you guys. We have a great time. And today is going to be so much fun with our topics. And, you know, we got announcements to make. Oh, goodness. I can't stop beaming. All right, Corey, you go ahead and say something, and I'll say something next. Today, we are going to have a great time with you, and it's going to be all about it. Today is a delicious episode. When I say delicious, it is going to be all about food. We have our special, we're going to start off with a little bit of a twist. Our five minute story is actually going to be a plant based treat that Lakuta is going to, going to uh, introduce to you as she introduces to you That's our part new of the blind guy, his wife.com website. And we also have a special guest. You've heard of mustard greens, turnip greens, collard greens, spinach greens. You might have even drank some pot liquor in your life, but you never met, maybe you have, but you never met two more extraordinary people than Derek and Anita Green from Cooking with Greens. We're going to bring them on to say hello to our audience today. We're excited to be here. We're glad to have you. Yes, we are excited to have you guys. We know you might do a little bit of a demo today, but folks are here for it. They are ready. So we'll see you soon, okay? Okay. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, Corey, why are you flexing on the folks? Flex. Flex on the dairy. Flex on the dairy. Yeah. <laughs> flex on them, Anita. Flex on them. <laughs> yeah, I need a little help. I need a little help. <laughs> All right, guys. See you soon. All right, see okay. you guys. <laughs> it's definitely going to be a fun time with Cooking with Greens. And like I said, they're gonna, this is going to be a delicious episode. They're going to actually prepare some, a special treat for us today. Now, remember, this broadcast is member supported by viewers like you. Queen Marie, how can they, can they support all the things that we're doing as, as part of our blind guy, his wife, family? Well, you guys know that Corey can't see. He's blind. His eyes don't work. However, um, this stream is member supported. And we say that his eyes don't work because some people don't realize like blind guy. Corey works on many blinds and scrolling at the bottom of your screen. It says www.blindguyhiswife.com. So if you'd like to support this production, that's where you would go. Now, that's a part of our fun announcement today. I'm so excited because we have, you know, it's a site. It's a website, a super simple site so that if you'd like to support this production, you can head right over to blindguyhiswife.com. And there you'll see who we are. We're a blind guy, his wife, their life. Scroll right down and you can always buy us a coffee and support the production. How do you do that? You click the green coffee cup. When you do that, pops up right here, how you can do it. You can uh, buy one coffee, three coffee, five coffees. And it shows you right there where you can even type in 123 coffees. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, it showed up. You would be supporting this production with $615. And all proceeds, 100% of proceeds, are they all go to Atumpan Edutainment, which is a 501c3 nonprofit that we started 22 years ago. So your information would be there. You can leave us a nice note and all things are good. So guys, we hope you uh, check us out. You know, that'll be scrolling at the bottom of the screen. It's also in the chat. Check it out. It's a brand new site, still being worked on a little bit. So give us some feedback. And you can also support this, this broadcast by bum rushing the buttons. Bum rush the buttons means to smash, destroy, obliterate the like button. Don't do too much because we still need it for the next broadcast. 
Also, you can hit the notification bell to get all notifications when we're going live or putting up new content. And you can share this important content with other people that might find it valuable as well as you, the way you find it valuable. So we're going to jump right into our, our comments today. I'm going to read the comments. Guys, so it looks like somebody reason. said, hey, I got here last night. I was so excited. I made a comment last night. And then somebody else says, wow, Actually, Jeremy's got a lot of muscles. He's flexing. Ooh, Nina, she's so pretty. Well, I got this. So guys, this is one of the reasons why I read those comments because Corey cannot see and we did tell him that Marilyn McKinney was in here early. She was here since yesterday, guys, chatting it up, saying, can't wait, the greens, you all. She, she's got, uh, you know, the thumbs up button. Uh, she's excited. We're so excited to have you here. Thank you. We also have here Tanja Sanders saying, good morning, guys. Got my coffee now. I'm ready. All right, Tanja. Corey is also <laughs> ready. Good morning, all. Philip Waldo Jr. is saying. PWJ as, in the house. As well as Sydney. Sid the Cool Kid and Wine says, good morning, everyone. All right, Sid the Cool Kid. <laughs> Glad to have you guys here. PWJ, there's no way you could get first place this morning, so I'm not even going to get on you about that. Yeah, you Corey. on those four strike D dots that we talked about yesterday. He's not first because she was here since yesterday. <laughs> she outran you know? brother. <laughs> so, Sean Bright, even though it's gray outside, she says, Grand Rising fan. You know what, Corey? I forgot. We got these Shine Bright socks right here. We got to make sure we get these over there to Shine Bright because they say Shine Bright right there on them. Anyways. All right, Shine Bright. Oh, compliments of my mama. Y'all know my mama's always giving me something. Belanta Queen, hey there. Belanta Queen, all the way out from the Midwest. Totally thawed out out there. Be quiet, be quiet. She says, hey, fam, listen, y'all sneaking, watching at work. Oh, okay. Oh, everything's okay. Belanta Queen. <laughs> Uh, Clara Dane says, hello, Derek and Anita. And of course, they're chatting back saying, hey, Sierra. Oh, you know what? I can't even read. Is that Clara or Sierra? Mm -hmm. Well, no, no, no. Her name is Clara, but okay. Cooking with Green just called her Sierra. Woo! They said to share. It looks like she did. The folks are coming in. We're ready for them. And thank you for that reminder, Sid the Tools Kid Antoine. Thumbs up, guys. Like and share this stream. You guys already know what to do. Cooking with Greens is shouting everybody out saying, hey, fams, Carolyn Edwards is in here saying good morning, Greens family. Carolyn, I love your name because my mom's name is Carolyn. All right. So. Yeah, so happy to have you here. Hey there, Barb Frank. Hi, all in the Green family. Uh, Frank, Frank is my dad's last first name. So I've got two cool people, Frank and Carolyn, right in the same block. Boom, right there <laughs> behind each other. Um, <laughs> we got Sean Bright saying, too cute. Thanks, Mama C. Mama C, y'all know that's my mama, right? That's my mama. <laughs> mama C is my mama. Uh, so we also have, she's laughing, she's saying thanks for her socks, just mm -hmm. so you know, Corey. Guess who is here, Corey? Um, you know, people are chatting it up, cooking with greens, is chatting with everybody, but guess who's here? First to be 12th in line. <laughs> <laughs> David Hunt. David Hunt, first to be 12th today. Now, David has a fabulous YouTube channel as well. David Hunt he provides morning meditations. He's a great musician. He's a great singer. He's also an IT specialist. So, like I said, David Hunt's developing courses right now. Check out David Hunt's YouTube channel. I usually edit my food channels in the morning listening to his uh, piano meditation, guys. He, like, plays piano music. Uh, or sometimes he sings. Uh, he's a bubbly. I'm going on Clara Dane's head. I was born by the river in a little tent. How was that, David? Don't answer, David. <laughs> Clara Dane, thank you. She shared with her Greens family. Philip Aldo Jr. is shouting out his mama. Corey, let's go to the... Um, a sneak peek of the plant-based tree because I didn't do that, you know, earlier. Well, no, today's actually we're going to oh, talk yeah, about gotta... the five-minute five story. Is actually going to be your plant-based tree. Now, a lot of you guys are familiar with the Impossible uh, Meat Burger, the Beyond Burger. Those are okay. No, David, I'm going to court. Anyway, <laughs> those are okay. But Laquita Marie, you actually have created your own brand of. Uh, of meatless meat that has served our family so well, and you've even created it into different to uh, make it like burgers and sliders. And from a from uh, from a former meat eater that's a burger connoisseur, yes, these are excellent. So we want to actually show them this plant based treat, and you can talk about how you you can set it up and tell them how you um, came about why you developed this plant based meat. Well, guys, um, you know we're always trying to get people to eat more fruits and vegetables. And so our guests today are going to be sharing that very same thing. They have a lot of pages on their website, Cooking with Greens, like eight or nine pages full of vegan recipes. They are uh, 
plant-based, they're meat eaters, they're everything. What do you call those people? Total- omnivores. 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 I was going to call them totalitarians instead of like vegan, vegetarians. But anyways, you know what I'm trying to say, guys. So if you head right back over here to our what new site, blindguyhiswife.com, it's right there in the chat. I'll drop it again. Then when you scroll down, you will see here some sneak peeks at the plant-based treats. Uh, For today, this one right here, this particular video, you can get a sample of it. It's already up on YouTube. I've already watched it, so let me close those things. I was trading this morning for you nosy folks that saw that. Get into it, guys. Tomorrow is Financial Fridays. We've got a trader coming on. Kwame's trading is coming on. Yes. And so so basically, guys, our five-minute story time is all about our plant-based treats. Uh, Corey, just so that you know, we got Sean Bright saying 50 people watching. Make sure you smash that like button. Smash it. Obliterate it. Tear it apart. Thanks for that, Sean Bright, because Corey can't see the like count and we want to make sure he is ready. Uh, Shawanda McKinney says, first time viewer here for my adopted family, the Green family. Anita and Derek love them. Shawanda McKinney in the house. Thanks for joining us today. And Alicia Miller. Hello. Good morning, Derek and Anita. And we also got... Wait, wait, hi, Alicia, how are you going to come in the house and say good morning to the guests? Didn't even say good morning to the host. That's okay. We'll let you fly this time. <laughs> Look, say hello to who you know. Stranger danger. You don't know us, but you're getting to know us, and we hope you stick and stay. crazy. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I do have a crazy magnet. I often attract crazy people. It's true. I, I attract crazy folks like blind guy here. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, fine. Well, no, you got me with that one. We got Philip Waldo Jr. giving us the official title of people who eat everything. Those would be meat atarians. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Oh, Cooking with Greens. Thank you so much. They said make sure you subscribe. And David Hunt is also saying bum rush the like button. Bum rush it. Bum rush the button. Come on, quick. Let's hit him with the plant based treat. Oh, okay. We're going to give it to him for real? Yeah. Oh, okay. Five minutes story time. The nice thing is that this is a very short plant-based treat. So let's go for it. Let's share it. I'll turn this one off. Burger bites. I'll give a quick tutorial. Broccoli is also loaded with vitamins and minerals for healthy bones. Garlic and onions. Garlic and onions lower blood pressure, regulate diabetes, and reduce your arteries from hardening. They're full of antioxidants like vitamin C to fight colon, prostate, lung, and brain cancers. And meatless meatballs, pinches and cloves. These meatballs are also made with carrots that are full of carotenoids or cancer-fighting antioxidants. They're high in fiber, which reduces your blood sugar and cholesterol levels. These are plant-based meatballs that are made when we put them onto a baking sheet. We're going to bake these at 400 degrees, and these are golden brown. So I'm going to dip them into the plant-based butter. I'm just going to melt some of this plant-based butter. Plant-based butter is optional, but since we dipped ours in ketchup and mustard, we didn't need it. I added basil to the bread dough and the meatballs, which alleviates stress, anxiety, and depression, increases the ability to think and reason, and prevents age-related memory loss. Is it like what? Oh, it's like this. Yeah, it is. Like, you do it with the way you do it, you have some mustard and cheese and hamburger. Oh, it's not butter and butter. They're both really good. So it just makes a difference when you add it to ketchup and mustard. Yeah, plain tastes like butter and pizza, and then when you add it to the ketchup and mustard, it tastes like, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so that was our five minute story. And again, those, those plant, that plant based meat is completely handmade, homemade by Chef Laquita Marie herself. Ah, oh, Corey, you know, we got to bring on our guests because Alicia Miller, see, you made her feel bad. She was like, sorry, I meant to you and your wife. I'm just, you know, first time viewer. So she's. She's, I guess you made hello to all of us. I got you, Alicia. I'm just messing with you. But when you come in, it's customary that uh, you didn't see the other comments that you have to say, good morning, most magnificent Corey, and uh, the semi okay Makuta Marie. That's how I uh, Thanks, Shawanda McKinney, for <laughs> subscribing. <laughs> no, Alicia, we have fun with you. We're just glad that you're here. We're glad you were able to greet the Greens. And speaking of greeting the Greens, we have to bring them on. Ooh, Sean Bryce, that looks so delicious. Yeah, let's bring on our guests. Without further ado, 
we're going to bring in, it's a family affair with today's guests who are going to be doing the food preparation and talking about their businesses, especially with their seasoning, their spice blends that they are providing through Cooking with Green. Artisan seasoning blends. Artisan seasoning blends. You can charge more that way, according to Derek. Okay. Artisan seasoning blends, according to Derek <laughs> and Anita, it is time for today's special guest. It's time for Derek and Anita Green of Cooking with Green. Wow. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Good morning, most magnificent Corey and his lovely wife. Like, I got to do it right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You know, everyone's in, uh, everyone's in the chat room just chatting it up. We appreciate you guys because everyone, all your folks are sharing. Tanja Sanders is saying, uh, share. And you know uh, Alicia Mill Alicia Miller, so that you know Corey, she um, says it's okay. Thank you. So she appreciated your uh, your explanation, <laughs> your apology. And um, hey, look at Tanja. She sees you guys. She says, "Hey, my favorite family." And we've also got Sean Bright saying, "Welcome, King and Great King and Queen Green." <laughs> see how they do me. See how see even Sean Bright did me wrong, Alicia. See how she did me. She didn't call me King nothing. <laughs> Welcome, Green family. So so tell us, guys. You guys, um, you're amazing. Your spice seasonings are wonderful. They're delicious. They're um, healthy. They're. We want you to tell us about them because after I bought them, I saw Tabitha Brown using them on her channel. But um, you know, they were great before she before she was using them because simply because they're marvelous. So you tell us about it because Phil Waldo Jr. is saying, got the greens in the house. We're ready for you guys. Alicia Miller is saying. <laughs> <laughs> So go, go ahead and tell us a little bit about what Cooking with Greens is, who is Cooking with Greens. And how did it all start? How did it all start? I've got your website here, and you go ahead. Wow. Okay. Um, approximately about four years ago, babe, I'm saying about four, four years ago, um, I realized my immortality, and I was 50 plus, and I was starting to look like I wasn't 35 again. So- <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to start, um, you know, doing something to improve my health in my, in my lifestyle. You know, I have kids, I have grandkids, we have great brands, and we want to have fun with them and live with them and live a fruitful life. So I started walking. Um, during my walks, uh, for some reason, because I'm a chatty kind of guy, um, I would go live and talk about what's going on in the world. And a lot of people started following me doing that for a while. Um, then that, that grew to us um, going in later and um, just showing what kind of things we were eating and how we we're trying to, because at that time we were doing like a, a, a totally vegan. We did a, um, raw, raw. raw diet, Which we was did horrible. sugar-free diets. And um, we we're just showing people the options that they had, which um, after I would do that, um, it would be, I get like all these messages. Hey, what are you making tomorrow? What are you making? The, you know, are you are you cooking tonight? So, so I have a question. When you guys, said, I have a question. When you guys said totally raw, did did um did Anita say it was totally horrible? <laughs> <laughs> it was so hard. You no, know, it wasn't horrible. It was, it was an undertaking because again, we we weren't cooking anything. Um, we weren't buying any prepared anything. No. We, we just had to think, oh, my God, let's see. I guess we'll have nuts again. I'll eat Lettuce some. Uh, again, uh, again. I'll make some uh, a cucumber salad, you know, that kind of thing. And and the amount of food you have to eat to can, to trick your body into knowing that it's full. Um, I was literally eating all day, mm. all day long, snacking on something different. And that's a healthier way to eat multiple times in small amounts and you know trying to carve yourself up and sugar yourself up and um eat three times but right. um go ahead you know um i was just going to say of course everybody's chiming in mm -hmm. laverne lark is in there saying hello to everyone ll in the house <laughs> <laughs> but we you know we also from what you're saying about people following you and everything, Carolyn Edwards is saying, I absolutely love Derek and Anita. I make sure I'm available every day to watch them. Because like you're saying, when you were walking, he's throwing kisses, Corey, like don't giving out the love. When you were walking, you were creating this community 
Um, and according to Shawanda, she said, look, welcome to the best cooking family on the internet, the Greens family, you know? And, and so I'm gonna pull up your Facebook page so that I can scroll through a little bit and you can let us know, you know, how that works, um, how that works with you guys streaming every day to Facebook, engaging with people. I don't know what look, Philip Waldo was so crazy. He said, Anita looked like she ready to pimp slap them early days. <laughs> she did. I was like, no, I'm not. I was like, come on, man, just one more week. We're just gonna do a whole month. Right. So I'm going, I'm going to pull up your Facebook page. You tell us what you want to tell us about it because Tanja Saunders is asking, talk about your paintings also, please. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, you know what? I'll talk about, I'll talk about our, our page and our first, <laughs> and then we'll get into that because that's an addendum. That's, that's an addendum to that. So um, I built the website, and, um, and, and, and of course, we come up with the recipes, um, the logo design, everything is in-house. So it's it's a lot of work for anyone that's out there um, doing a business or, or contemplating, um, you know, just kind of pursuing your dream. Um, just be dedicated to the point that you're going to work on it. It's going to be 24 hours. Quit your job Which we because did. it's you working too many hours. You got a new thing coming. That's all I'm going to say. But um, we actually developed um, these spice blends because we were using other spice blends and we were noticing that it was just a, uh, a, a copy of the next one and there were just salts with flavoring, just salts with flavoring. And we were trying to get away from having so much salt in our diet, especially our type of people, which are humans, you thought I was gonna say black. <laughs> With your, with your humans, it is actually imperative to try to uh, um, find healthier alternatives mm -hmm. for for the foods that we eat all the time. So we um, started um, using pink Himalayan sea salt because it's a naturally current salt. You get 84 trace minerals in it. The taste to me is a little better. And you can use a little less of it because it seems to be a little saltier because it's a, yeah. a sea salt. Um, uh, from that, we ended up um, launching some blends. So our, our seven. yeah, seven. Our, our focus was to not let the salt be the star of the blends. Mm -hmm. So we, we had to learn about different kind of herbs and spices and even fruit and vegetables that we have in our blends so that they carry the flavor and enhance the meat. Mm -hmm. that was the, you know, everybody's not me. The food, yeah. the dish. I'm so. <laughs> we, knew what, we knew what you meant. Yeah. yeah. We, we've, we've actually experienced, had the pleasure of experiencing the uh, spice blends. My daughter was one of the first ones to use it at home. As soon as it got home, she shook some on some popcorn. Like, Woo, this is good. And so we. I know that. Yeah. And I know that that's one of the things that you were saying, Derek, is, you know, sprinkle this onto popcorn or a plain potato chip. First, you know, Philip Waldo says, Derek, glad you got those flavors together. <laughs> you know, this way we can all enjoy the week and we can get ourselves together. And if you ever experienced any of the cooking with great spice blends, let us know how you use them and how you like them in the chat. Definitely do yeah. that because uh, Marilyn McKinney is like my favorite seasonings. She got, she's got all the hearts there. Karen Pino, hey, she says, good morning. I know she was saying, um, let's see, so she, not, not she, Barb Frank. Um, I'm just saying she, like, you know right. who I'm talking about, Corey. No, no. She says, love how they both interact with each other while cooking in the kitchen with some funny bloopers from Derek. Now, speaking of cooking, you guys are going <laughs> to prepare something for us today. I know we're jumping ahead a little bit, but you guys are preparing something for us today. What is it? We are going to do, and uh, this is one of our easiest recipes, believe it or not, and our most beneficial recipes. We're going to do an easy chocolate avocado pudding. I know you're like, some people are like, hold on, did he just say chocolate avocado, avocado pudding? Just watch. Just, just try watch. We got it. you covered. We got you covered. You're going to swear by it, and you'll never stop making it, I promise. We fooled a lot of people. <laughs> well, let me ask you this then, because, you know, um, you're saying, okay, just try it. Of course, you guys have so many recipes on your site and I'm, I'm sure you're going to use some of your seasoning blends. If you're like Tonja Sanders and you're trying to figure out, there's so many to choose from. So she just ordered all 23 <laughs> spices. I've done the same thing, you know, I've, I've just ordered the whole pack. Um, 
You know what? Listen to uh, I got a good feeling this might happen, Corey, because we haven't gotten our order yet. Philip Walter Jr. says Derek and Anita are gonna rob Corey and Quita supply. Like they're gonna go into our order and use and shake some onto the uh <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, we'll forgive them for that. We'll forgive them for that. Right. <laughs> we will forgive you, but uh, you know, Shine Bright says your no salt herb blend has been a staple in my plant based diet. I didn't realize I didn't need salt to make my food pop. Okay. Uh, Shine, yeah. that is more important because we, that was the other thing that we wanted to do. We wanted to give people um, who couldn't have uh, um, salt an option for flavor and you didn't have to go to Mrs. Dash. You didn't have to go to an overly processed. Right now, we have eight blends. And I'm telling you, and I'm not just telling you because there are blends, they're going to change. We've had people that hit us back with testimony and saying that they only use our no-salt blends and they've, they've lost weight, they've lowered their, uh, um, their, their blood pressure medicine, or they've gotten off of it. Like, I can't claim those kind of things because I'm not trying to get the FDA after me. But it's awesome just to know that yes. we touch people like that and we are allowed, we, this product is making a change, like a lifestyle change for some people. Right. I will help you testify that because I do use pink Himalayan sea salt and Celtic sea salt where I don't, not only for eating it, but what I actually take the crystals, pop one or two crystals in my mouth and drink some water with it. And it does help you, your, your uh, cells to retain water, which helps yeah. you with your blood pressure. So pink Himalayan sea salt and uh, Celtic sea salt, you don't have to just shake it on food or use it on food. You can also just take it, like I said, especially in yeah. days when you're dehydrated, you can use it for that as well. When Corey bath soaks with it. Ah. Mm. And you know what? So when when Corey could see, he would he played football in high school, mm -hmm. and they would tell them to do. That's when he was flexing. <laughs> when? Okay. Oh, well, you know what I mean. You know, Derek still flexing. <laughs> I didn't bring my muscles with me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Well, that's where you know they would have you guys lick salt and different things for um. Yeah, yeah. For cramps and dehydration, you know, this is going to be fun hearing about your recipes today because David Hunt says chocolate avo avocado pudding. This I've got to see. Uh, Marilyn McKinney's giving you a thumbs up, but I do want to clarify because Philip Waldo Jr. says no, he's going to rob our supply when it comes in. So, oh. uh, all right, so we just gonna lock the front door, right? <laughs> lock the front door. So, <laughs> so yeah, there is. <laughs> right. So. Right. Somebody um, was asking about uh, the recipes and things like that. I'm going to pull your recipe page up because you guys have those recipes on your website. Shine Bright is saying the spicy umami is her daughter's favorite. It adds just the right amount of heat to their Trini dishes. And um, David Hunt is asking how we can get these spices, no salt blends. I'm going to drop that link into the chat as David well. David wants to make some buzz up shots. Yes. <laughs> 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 so Corey, what were you I got it. I I I'm gonna say this and you can let everybody can laugh. It's okay. I can't wait to see chocolate and avocado pudding. All right. Well I'm just clicking on the vegan recipe page. So go ahead and take it over there. Go uh, ahead. We're gonna give you the screen. Yeah, we have thousands of, of videos on our page, um, on vegan and non-vegan. Um um, just because we want to give people options and our version of maybe some traditional um, recipes that you're used to having. We're just showing you kind of a we're, we're a little vegetable heavy on our on our our recipes. So because that's a better way to be eating, um, they are all going to a bunch of them are going to be in our cookbook that we are working on now. So you all stay tuned for that. But um, yeah, they're free. I mean, they're free. So, wow. Yeah, yeah, not chef. Yeah, we are. We are, we are just chef. home cooks that's been doing it so long. We're not professional, anything. We think we know what we're talking about. That's it. Got <laughs> it. So who's who's going to steer the ship as far as making this avocado chocolate pudding? I don't know. There, Is it gonna be me? Yeah, our cameraman. Well, it looks like looks like we're gonna have camera. So we want to do that now, or are we coming back to that? Or? Let's go ahead and do it now. You know what? Yeah, we can go ahead and do it now. And while you um, set up, I'll make sure that I drop in your Instagram page so people can just see that you guys are active on all the places. And if they go to your website, they can just click on your Instagram link or your Facebook link and they can see all of these things. By the way, happy anniversary. We know you a couple of days ago you celebrated 36 years. 
Cheers. 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 Just let our viewers know there'll be times when we'll be putting uh taking the sound off of Derek and Anita because they'll be blending and mixing. So like I said, nothing's wrong with the sound. It's just that there we let them do their thing, work their magic with their blender. So Derek and Anita, it's on you. And we'll be reading comments in the chats and, and while in between. Yes. So while you, yeah. Okay. So while, mm -hmm. while you get it, once you get it ready, you just let us know. And so while they're doing that, guys, I'll pull up some of keep scrolling through some of their spaces. And then when you guys are ready, just say ready. Oh, okay. We're going to be ready right now because uh, so can, we need to turn this on. All right. So. We're ready whenever you guys are. All right. We are ready. We're going to let you have it. Cool. All right. Very simple. Um, this is one of our, our favorite recipes to do when family comes over. Um, we like to tell them, hey, we got a dessert for you. And um, it's a pudding. It's a really decadent, um, healthy chocolate pudding. Um, when they taste it, we tell them it's avocado chocolate pudding. But well, we're going to show you real quick the um, the ingredients. Babe, can you show you real quick? Can you give me a little tilt down? She can't see, guys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna. We got a couple of avocados. You want some ripe avocado? Uh -huh. That's the way I say it. Uh, a little bit of vanilla. You want a little of our cooking greens, pink Himalayan sea salt with kelp. We have some unsweetened cocoa powder. Organic. Organic, of course. We have some 100% maple syrup. Do not use Mrs. Butterworth's, okay? I know some of you guys said, that's syrup. No, no, it's not the same thing. And we have some blue agave, really good for you. It's going to help you to lower GI, so um, your glycemic index, it is better to use uh, blue agave than sugars. And then we have a little 100% unsweetened coconut milk for the creaminess. This is going to be super easy. The first thing you want to do is you want to cut these bad boys. Be open. careful. You want to be careful. You don't want to hurt yourself. Uh, they've got a little African-American in here. It is okay. <laughs> do not be a racist food person, okay? So we're going to get these guys out and into our blender. Kind of scoop them out. We only need about two um, to three, depending on the size. So you want to get all that goodness out of there. And avocado is really beneficial for you. It's incredibly nutritious. They contain more potassium than bananas. Um, uh, it's loaded, load, I'm sorry, it is loaded with heart healthy monosaturated fatty acids. Um, really, really good uh, beneficial fats there. And it's nice and creamy and it tastes good too. How about that? And it's non dairy. Oh, and it's non dairy. Thank you, babe. So we're going to get all that in like we almost know what we're doing here. And you'll see how quickly and easy it is. So you want to get that in there. You want to get your cocoa powder in there. Again, unsweetened. Do not use Nestle quick. Okay. We're going to get that 100% uh, maple, syrup. maple syrup. Not Mrs. Butterworth's. Okay. <laughs> we're going to get that. Blue agave in there. Uh -huh. Why do they call it blue agave? Yo? It is like a brownish gold. I guess the plant's blue. Maybe. All right, so we're going to get that in there also. A little vanilla, because vanilla makes everything better. Boom, bam. And a little salt. Always put a little salt when you have a little sugar in there. Or if you're baking. So I want to start getting this in. This is when it's going to get a little loud. You guys may want to talk amongst yourself for a second. How about that? All right. I'll hit the mute. So guys, I'm just going to explain what is happening right now. I'm going to take that off so you guys can see what's happening is he's pressing the button. And when he presses that blender button, magic happens. <laughs> this is play by play like in uh, sports. Uh, yeah. Derek is pressing the blue button. He's going in for the for the, for the blend. Oh, wait, he's got a spatula now. He's him. got a spatula in his hand right now. He's going to scrape it up. Scraping down from the side. Scraping down from the side so he can make sure that the blend is nice and smooth. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He's talking. Commentary. Thank you for that great commentary, man. I was actually scraping it down from the side. You guys are good. <laughs> you guys are good at this. All right, Sorry. so 
Now amazing. that we have a little good consistency, I want to, babe, can you show them inside there? Yes. Let me see. Let me grab the camera. Y'all, Yo, do you anybody want to be our production person? Because we are not good at this. All right. So we want to, we want to get it to this consistency. Do you see that? Can y'all taste that? Wait a minute. Am I, what's going on with my camera, man? Okay. There he is. Can y'all taste this, please? All right. We're going to get it like that. And after it's about that consistency, you want to add a little bit of coconut milk. You want that fattiness in there. It's going to help clean it up a little bit. I'm going to use about half, and I'll add a little more if we need to. I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to trick your kids, your mama, your grandmama, and your neighbors. I'm telling you right now. They're not getting any. I'm sorry? <laughs> I just said they're not getting any. <laughs> they're not getting any? Okay. That's just smart. Let's get it in there. Let's pulse a little Try to be quiet, guys. No problem, guys. He is pulsing right now. Derek and is, look at this like golf. Oh, Derek, yeah. Derek is pulsing. The lid is coming back off. The lid is coming back off. Derek's about to make it. He's adding a little bit more fat. Coconut milk gives you that great mouthfeel. Don't talk softer when you're doing the Wait, wait, he's talking. I like your voiceover, man. Your voiceover is <laughs> amazing. Uh oh. So you're gonna get it to about this consistency, but wait, we have the magic of television. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here, Liz Jones, spice is delicious. Look, look, act like this is beautiful, y'all. Act like this is beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Chocolate pudding. We got a little coconut whipped cream, which is awesome. Ready Whip has that in a can. Yeah, I like it better than a regular whipped cream. And a little shade of chocolate. Let's taste it, babe, real quick. First, yeah. I'm let you, first, I'm going to let you guys taste it because, you know, here, here, get a little bit, get a little bit. <laughs> My mouth is over here. The oh, other yeah. way. Oh, yeah. How bad is this camera thing? <laughs> I will, look, I'll taste it for you. Hold on. Look, get your mama. Okay, that froze a little bit. I like that. I'm going to have to get some. Fun well, then we were gonna make fresh sickles. Get your mamas out of the room because you're gonna smack them after this. I'm telling you right now. Uh oh. I'm not slapping. This is gonna make you smack your mama, baby. I was gonna let you taste it, but I'll taste it for you too. Uh huh. Man, let's take this over here and come back over. But it's super. That's simple, guys. Super simple. The recipe is on our website. It is called chocolate avocado pudding. You see, it took like three minutes, yeah. and it's a healthy alternative um, snack and dessert. Boom. Boom. So what like of the phone? <laughs> when, when do you guys go live? With your, what, what, what is your schedule for your live show? Yeah, because, you know, this is this is great. This is great. But, you know, like David Hunt is saying, you ain't right. You can't do this to us. You got to let us know when you're live. Uh, Tom just always is saying, good job, guys. Everybody's amazed. We didn't realize it was that simple. So, no, look, we have plenty. If you're in the Norfolk or the greater Tidewater area, come get some. This, to be honest with you guys, that pudding that I just um, had it already made, we made that last week. So now it is not going to go bad no. fast. It is not, it's a non dairy item. You can freeze it. It doesn't get a make, skin on top. It doesn't get a skin on top. I mean, we have options now. Mm -hmm. Like we were talking earlier. It used to be if you tried the vegan lifestyle or, or even, you know, oh, man, we tried to do a meatless Monday so hard. There are so many products out there now yeah, yeah. and recipes where yeah. you will not even feel the transition. I'm telling you now. You know what? I, li I like the way you said that, because one thing we don't do is we don't even bother like thinking that we're tricking people. We do what Shine Bright is saying. Just tell them it's vegan chocolate pudding. Leave the avocado part to yourself and make sure you don't let us know exactly where you're located because Philip Baldwin Jr. said he's on his way. Yeah. <laughs> is booking his ticket. These people are coming. Don't be quiet now. Wow. wow. Every night at 6 o'clock. 6 p.m. Um, Eastern time. Um, it's a it's a fun. It's not the the no, the normal kind of cooking show format. We're just um, making dinner. We're just making dinner from from day one. We were just inviting people to share. Uh, again, we especially after this COVID nineteen uh, nonsense, we 
um, forget that we need the connectivity of each other. We yes. are pack animals. We are a community. So people strive for that. And they don't, some people don't even know that. They're like, oh, it's just about me and my four kids. And, and uh, But oh. then they're always on the internet or watching people's lives mm -hmm. or watching shows, reality shows. This is integral to being human. So the, the food we always tell people is the backdrop. It's the backdrop. We're making dinner. We're inviting you to dinner. What's going on in your life? And we try to drop some gems. We try to drop some uh, some comedy. Just and it's not even like forced comedy. We just be messing up sometimes. <laughs> so, well, you know. So I guess my question is: I know that you guys you have a YouTube channel, uh, Cooking with Greens. You know, because you guys are cooking with greens everywhere. So even on your YouTube channel, Cooking with Greens, wow. but. So this is your YouTube channel. So you post your videos here after you go live on Facebook. If we want to see it live, we go directly to Facebook. Um, if we want to comment, engage, and interact, Facebook is where it's happening, right? Yes. Cur currently, Facebook is where it's happening. Mm -hmm. We're trying to grow up and be like you guys so we can multi-stream <laughs> all over multiple platforms. But, you know, so if I eat some of my avocados and my vegetables and I grow <laughs> up to be like you guys, then I might start doing that. You know? <laughs> well, you know, uh, I do want to say that Carolyn Edwards is reinforcing the time, guys. She says if she's out, she makes sure she's home by six to see your broadcast because she loves you guys. And um, um, we'll back. Yes, and so we, we definitely want to um, wrap it up with whatever you guys want to wrap it up with. Corey, I know you have something to wrap it up with, and Tanja Sanders keeps trying to get those paintings in there. <laughs> so I don't know. No, we like to just dance when we wrap it up. We just dance. No, no, no. Okay. All right. No, no, not really. Um, it has nothing to do with the show. It's just a few months ago, um, I just told myself, I bet I could paint. And, and, and I use and I always tell people, people don't believe that, like, oh, you must have trained. Um, did you used to draw when you were a kid, whatever? No, I use the same energy that people use to tell themselves they can't do things. So the same, you know how you believe yourself like, man, I can't do that. I'm not yeah. smart. Enough. I, I'm not, I, I can't be a model. I'm too fat. The same stuff that you tell the same energy you use to tell yourself what you can do when you believe it for your entire life. Start be flipping that. It's the same energy. So every once in a while, she she's scared of me sometimes because I'm like, you know what I'm start doing? Boom. She's like, babe, no, you can't do that. You don't know how to do that. Look, I told myself I can paint and I started painting. Yeah. I, I, I don't know how to tell you, but I but um it's my therapy. Um instead of watching TV a lot, sometimes I'll have a couple of hours, I'll just sit still and just paint something. Mm -hmm. And I don't want them. I don't want to keep them. I used to get well, rid of them. Oh, we got a few around now. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Although, yeah, those two I painted there of the uh, the oh, cabbage wow. and, and the avocado, which is the if you sound it out, it's avocado. Anyhow, um, <laughs> and then some other things. So they kind of like because I kind of show our, our painting every once in a while that I've done for the day. So. Right. <laughs> And if people want to be a part of your family, the Cooking with Greens family, they can definitely visit your Patreon page. Corey, what were you going to ask just now? Well, I was going to talk about you bought kind of a hint of it. We said the same energy you tell yourself that you can't do something, do the same energy you tell yourself you can do something. That ties right into something we talked about, about the emotions of food. And like, I just can't, I just can't eat more vegetables. I just can't eat more fruits. I just gotta have that bowl of chitlins. I gotta have that pig foot. I gotta have <laughs> that. That, dough. that is so funny. We, yes. did, we did speak about that. We, I used it for an example uh, the other night. I was like, you know how some people love chitlins or, or, or pig feet or whatever? They just love it. But it's really not about if you, someone who's never had that, mm -hmm. you cannot convince them, hey, let's have some intestines right now of a pig. <laughs> It's got to, a lot, everything to do with the emotions, yes. um, your memories. So food, I always say, is emotional. It's, it's, um, it's intimate. I, I think it's more intimate than, than sex. Excuse me if the babies are a lot. Are we? <laughs> but it's more intimate than sex because you are literally taking something from your mind. You are saying, I'm going to create this thing. You're creating it from, from um, 
intangible or in your mind to physically making something. Mm -hmm. um, so now you create, you've already created, and now you present it to someone. Like if I make my wife a dinner, I say, here, ingest this and make this part of you. That is straight sex. <laughs> you know what? You you know here, here's the thing, Gary. You're talking about this, and Karen, you are right on time because she says work has the worst timing for a team meeting. She missed most of the show, so be quiet, Karen. First of all, we already everybody sneaking at work watching, and so second of all, what Philip Waldo Jr. said, you can always go back. You know, one thing that I do. Uh, yes. Oh, he also did an awesome show today, guys. One thing that I do, you can always rewind a live stream. If I if I miss part of a live stream, I rewatch. I put it on double the speed so that it catches up, and then I I catch up to where they are. Darlene Thomas is saying this is awesome. Oh, thank you so much. Two beautiful couples. No, thank you. <laughs> and now I know Derek, you said food. We're gonna wrap this up with this food being a language, which is basically describing uh, with the uh, intimacy of food. I mean, I never thought about a plate having a negligee and some uh, thigh, thigh fish nets. So, yeah. I'm um, telling you right now. <laughs> yeah. So basically, you know, I know for me, eating used to be a visual. And I wouldn't eat anything that, you know, from a restaurant that didn't have a chain. It wasn't a chain restaurant or it had a commercial. But yeah, because Corey could see, see and was driving before mm -hmm. he lost his sight and everything. You know, he just got sick and then all of a sudden he couldn't see anymore. And so he was used to whoever had a commercial. If he could see a McDonald's, he was like, I'm only going. You always give me the low budget stuff. Like, well, we were young. <laughs> we were, we were young. I'm <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but I became, but after losing my sight, you know, the queer you know, she invented diving, driving, driving his diners and dives. So we would eat some of these, you know, eclectic places, and I started being less of a emotional, uh, uh, visual eater and just relying on the taste and the quality of the food. So I think that was something like I said, getting past that, the being vision impaired has helped me to. Be, make an easier transition into a plant-based like lifestyle. So, but we, we want to know which seasoning blends. Like, are there any specific ones that you recommend? We know that you guys you have different specials. Like, if we don't if we don't want to purchase the big pack, we can or if we're vegan, we can purchase the vegan pack. You know, the vegan blends. We can mix it up and all of those good things. So, you give us your recommendations for your favorite ones, and I'll pull it up on the screen. Well, first of all, um, that's like asking the father, which one is their favorite kid? Come on now, you can't do that. They, I love them all for different reasons. But um, we, do, we do have some uh, um, package deals because we realize that everyone is at a different place in their life and we want you to try them. We want you to fall in love with them. So our most popular package right now is our five pack, any five. So you can pick any five of any of our blends, our new ones, our old ones, our no salts, whatever, for $20. Like, how can you even, how do we stay in business? This is my question. <laughs> for $20. Plus shipping. Plus shipping, you know, we ain't trying to end David, right? But for $20, so you get a chance to say, you know what? Uh, I wanted to try that maple bacon because they said it was vegan, but I really can't believe it. I wanted to try that ranch because how you make no ranch dairy. with no dairy in it, mm -hmm. you know, and so on and so forth. Um, there's a lot of ways to purchase. There's a lot of ways to purchase. And it supports us because this is what we do full time now. We've been blessed to be able to say, that's it, job. We're done. We're going to build a, you know, we're going to feed the baby and let it grow up and take care of us. Mm -hmm. So yeah. and we thank you guys for that, too. We do. Yeah. Turn it, turn no, it Turning passion into profits. I like that. Absolutely. And I really love the part that you, um, you know, you mentioned family. Speaking of which, Corey, Giselle is there saying, hey, family, it's Giselle. Hey, Giselle. Yes. I know. <laughs> and so um, I just wanted to mention family because, of course, we got to cut up here. This is why he's talking about robbing me. My brother says, Derek, how can you hook up Corey Shell to Bobo's? Put <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the maple bacon blend on it. Put the maple bacon blend on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Clara says, thank you, Alicia and Shawanda, for welcoming us into your home today. We'll see you and Anita. We'll see you, Anita and Derek, tonight, Cooking with Greens tonight. That's 6 p.m. on Facebook is where you guys are uh, live streaming. 
Of course, uh, David Hunt is thinking like, "Ooh, plate with a negligee." Okay, coming <laughs> through. So you can you can also see us right after. You know, actually tonight we're gonna do we we're gonna we're gonna save it for tonight because we're gonna do a brunch. But this is this is a lot, and we got stuff to do. But tonight we made um corned beef hash yesterday. yesterday. Um, a soul food corned beef hash, and awesome. we're gonna. I mean, I'm sorry, okay. corned beef and cabbage. So I'm, I didn't told you what we're making tonight, so tonight man. Tonight we're making. <laughs> An easy corned beef hash. I messed up. <laughs> no problem. No problem. You know what? Thank you, Ring Family, for an awesome show. People, people love spoilers, so it's no problem at all. That makes them even more nosy. You know, uh, we well, live in spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been great, guys, and we are going to see you soon and very soon. So. Yeah. Go ahead, Corey. So, yeah, we just encourage you go to cooking. Wait, Corey, you didn't let him say thank you or anything. I was say go to cookingwithgreens.com. Thank, to thank you. <laughs> so, go to cookingwithgreens.com to order your spice blends today. Like I said, this has been a great show. We've had this. I told you it was going to be delicious. So, we had a plant based treat at the top. We had Derek and Anita that uh, actually show us their avocado chocolate pudding. That sounds great. And Queen Marie already said she's going to make that today. Yes. So any closing words before we sign off today? Um, that's all. We just we love you guys. Um, just um, just just remember that it is important um, to put the right fuels in your body. Okay. We again are partial. Uh, meat eaters. So we, we're still attaining a balance in our life. But um, you can start with one meal, with one day, with just nice. deciding, guess what? Let me try this plant-based butter and see if it's as good as regular butter. And once you find out that it is, because it is, you can just, I don't use butter anymore. That's one step. It, every step is going to take you to greatness or where you need to be or your level of, of comfort. So start, I guess mm -hmm. it's important. Baby, you got something to say? I've talked the whole so time. Meatless Mondays, that's how we started. Oh, Meatless Mondays is how they started. Mm -hmm. Nice. This is great. And I know you have your family involved. So when people go to your website, they can see all of those details about how your family contributes. It's a family business. This is legacy. It's not just something that you guys are doing for yourselves. It's something that your children and your grandchildren can enjoy for, you know, generations to come. And, you know, uh, Giselle says she's tried it before. You can't really tell the difference with that plant-based butter. Mm -hmm. So good tips. We appreciate you guys. And we're going to put you backstage so that we can close out and Don't see go soon. anywhere. We'll talk to you after the broadcast is over. Everybody, this we is lost our uh, sound for a second because we had a we had a call trying to hold on. Let me just decline yeah. this call. Jesus, <laughs> hold on. Ah, right, Katie, stop it. She says, right, let, me, let me let me go. I just hit decline. Can you hear us now? Yes, we hear you. We're gonna pop you guys. <laughs> Say it real loud again. No problem. We are going to see you guys soon. We'll pop you backstage. Hang out. We'll talk to you. Okay, we're going to see you too. <laughs> All right, bye bye. I don't know the sound, just decided to say bye. No problem. <laughs> well, guys, this has been a fabulous episode with Cooking with Greens. Remember, cookingwithgreens.com. You can order your spice blends, check out recipes, and don't forget the live show at 6 p.m. every night as they cook and have fun with you on their Cooking with Greens family. Yes, and guys, also don't forget the announcement, uh, blindguyhiswife.com. That's where you can see, let me get out of this um, video right here, because that was a plant-based treat right there on our brand new site. So when you go to blindguyhiswife.com, you will see Corey and I at the top, so you'll know you're at the right place. And we do have our Buy Me a Coffee. You can support the production right there. By just clicking on that info, all click the green coffee cup. Click the green coffee cup, and it opens that up. So when you click that green coffee cup, it opens up a nice little uh, information place there for you to choose coffee cups and all of that stuff. If Down at the bottom of the screen, of course, is where we have our plant-based treat sneak peek. If you're watching this on the replay, if you're watching this on the replay hashtag replay squad. Leave us comments and questions there. And we just want to thank you guys for joining us on this episode of A Blind Guy. His wife. Their life live. 
Join us tomorrow and Friday. We have more fabulous guests that will be here. We thank you. Tomorrow we have, so tomorrow is Friday. You know you say that and you say anything. Hey. <laughs> Friday is Financial Friday with Kwame's Trading. So if you have questions about how you can increase your uh, your income with the income streams through trading, he will be there for you. And to say day trading, swing trading, to say goodbye, what do we say? To say goodbye, we say avocado, avocados and chitlins. Deuces. Deuces.